Hi everyone. So today, um, my name is Dennis Sebastian, and I'm with Shadi Nish Um How are you today? I'm great. Thank you very much. Right. How are you? I'm good too. So Shadi Nish, she is also known as India's Blade Runner, and she has been an inspiring model for a lot of people around the world. We have a center for assistive technology and innovation. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we try and find ways of how can we bridge the gap yeah. between people who have a disability mm -hmm. and want to access something they want. Mm -hmm. So my question is, do you use any form of assistive technology today? I, I use like my legs, yeah, my prosthetics are my uh, thing. I do have a left arm, which is a bio, um, myoelectric hand, which actually okay. um, rotates 360 degree and it has an open and class moment. Okay. Uh, so I can definitely pick something up and drop it there. I, I don't usually wear it because it's just cumbersome. It's cumbersome. <laughs> Why is it cumbersome? Is it it's heavy. It's mm -hmm. heavy and uh, what happens is that it's fitted at, at, my, at your elbow. Okay. So uh, when it gets hot then it has a tendency to slide away. It gets hot. Yeah. Because it's sticky. Yeah. Right? Like because it's, okay. it, it doesn't it, it, it doesn't get clicked from above your elbow because then mm -hmm. you don't have your elbow um, movement. movement. Right. So even the prosthetic that is there is still here. So I'm still restricted at a, at a 90 degree angle. Okay. So I can't necessarily eat or do anything. It becomes almost uh, uh, something to look pretty. Uh, like, you know, I could wear it and it just looks yeah. like I do have a hand, but I don't and it's not useful. So then I don't wear it. All right. So you have some limitation using that. Yes. 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 What I mean, if you add your weight, how would you like? Like, if you wanted an improvement in your device. I you think there are. I mean, see, they do have right now. Uh, I'm working. There is this company in uh, uh, in Delhi. These are a bunch of children who are doing children. I mean, young guys who are um, in their second or third year of medicine who are making this new arm. Okay. Uh, and uh, I'm going to test it for them because uh, it's it's lighter and it has all finger movement. Uh, which I think will be interesting to do um, but more than that again I feel because I'm right-handed I would want something for my right okay. because by left I um, you know uh, you know what can tell you in, uh, now see now I can't get a word in English like you because you're not you're naturally right-handed then yeah, you yeah. can't do something with your left right like it's yeah. a lot more difficult to do something I, I agree with you yeah so um, the so I think like I'm trying to find something if I can find somebody that will fit the missing piece here mm -hmm. which I think there are some manual prosthetics that are available we got about two done from the US but they wouldn't fit right because you know those were measurements that we took and sent out so, so you think those eight to the devices are not fit one side fit yeah correct specific. they have to be they have to be uh, made to uh, fit okay. and uh, those are 3d printed hands okay so with 3d printed hands again fitment even if it's a little off that's it and because they i was sitting in india and somebody was sitting in the us and we had to take the measurements it, it, back yeah, and forth, like a lot of back we had to go. So we're hoping that maybe we might be able to do something in India soon. Sounds good. So do you ever feel like there's a lack of resources when it comes to accessibility in India? If a person wants something, yeah, what? Absolutely. I think see, even if you want a prosthetic hand today in the market, they cost you about four and five lakhs. Forty five lakhs. Four and five lakhs. Four and five, I'm sorry, you okay. want if you want like the best of class <coughs> hands, which is with has like multiple finger movements which exists in the US, it's about forty lakhs. Okay, right? That's a lot of money. That's an absolute so even with my legs, they're about three and a half, four lakhs each. Wow. Right? So the blades the blades cost you about eight lakhs per leg. So they come at such a huge cost that it's it pretty much leaves it out of a common man's um, hand. Mm -hmm. So um, so I think yeah, one is there's absolutely lack of awareness in terms of what are the technologies that are available. One, mm -hmm. and secondly, even if they are available, then I think the the cost factor might not necessarily work. But like a three D printed hand works a lot more easier because it's cheaper. Okay. Yeah, it's about a three D printed hand costs you anywhere between fifteen to twenty thousand rupees, which is like where's the difference? My hand that I purchased was about twelve lakhs. Wow. So the difference is huge, right? 
to to uh, think literally cause you an arm and a neck absolutely literally yes. and figuratively mm -hmm. so um in my case all four i think uh, but but uh, yeah so i think there's the there's a lot that needs to be done from a governmental perspective yes. from a society perspective from every aspect that you can think of from education to awareness to <laughs> making it accessible to people making it affordable to people i think we just have such a huge huge way to go in india to make that possible at all yeah so uh, the company that i work with is called autobox so though they are german based uh, they their components are imported from there but they are assembled in india so they have like a fully functional clinic where you go in there to get your fitment done uh, you spend about 2 3 months going through practice and then they have like setups like this a ramp up and down and stairs so they practice it like almost like getting a driver's license and then they kind of said okay you're good to drive your legs kind of thing um but um i think again uh, you you have a you can go back and get it if you have a problem it's it, there's an after sales as well so it's pretty autobook is one of the best that we have in india but they come at a price i think they have to meet their it this is like making coca cola not knowing who's going to drink it like uh it's it's ridiculous that you would do it i mean i think they have a great idea and which is a great thing for them um because um they know it's an idea they've probably seen it and they think it works but uh it, it's like exactly like when i met um the kids who are doing the hand uh they've so far done their uh, practice on somebody with a congenital uh, disability right so his hand the, the guy who me they're trying it is on the right hand and he has a he has an arm but it's it's a smaller arm so the uh, so when when you do prosthetics in the arm hand you use your muscle strength to kind of open close do your rotations so if you have your entire hand it's easier but it's different when it's an amputated hand so then we were saying that listen you know it's going to work different if i put it on my left it might not work like how the person with the right because he has all muscle strength while i might not have so and then they were like oh yeah we didn't think of it and uh, then when we got talking as well i said listen the problem becomes this that even if you do this as far as i cannot reach my mouth whether it's my left hand or my right hand there's no point in you making um a prosthetic because it it defeats the purpose and then he was like yeah but there's no way that you can fit it onto the arm without restricting the elbow because the elbow is required yeah. so I think it's important for them as well to kind of have those conversations because only then do you brainstorm and figure out that oh this works this and this does not work. So I I don't think you have a use case unless you have a user. I've met Arun Cherian and uh, I've seen the kind of legs that he's made. I've met people who uses legs as well in Bangalore. Um and uh, I've seen how it works. I think it's a fantastic opportunity. It's a uh, It's a great innovation that uh, we can take forward. But anyway, I want to I want to thank you so much for coming over here for spending time with us, and I hope you enjoyed. I did. Thank you, you did. very much for having me here. This was fantastic. Yeah.